talk about summary. A summary is when you pick out the most important details about what you've read and you put it into writing. It's a brief account or it's a shortened version of the important part of what you've read. Your summary should only include your main idea and those key details that support your main idea. Your summary is also written in your own words, not using words from the text. A summary will not include your opinion and it will not include unimportant details. When you're writing a summary, always include the most important parts of a story or a text. Do not include specific details. We don't need to know that a character's shirt is red or his shoes are purple. You're summing up, you're writing a brief or shorter version of what the text is about. Okay, summarizing RI or informational text versus RL literature texts. When you are summarizing an RI text, use Tamio. Text type, author, action, main idea, important or key details, and organization. Your text type is in this text or in this article, in this passage. The author says, or you can use the author by name, um, the author explains, the author tells, the author describes, whatever that main idea is, and then you're going to add those key details that support that main idea. You're going to follow the organization of the text, so following the same order of the information it gives you, okay, and make sure you're using relevant transition words. When you summarize RL texts, you're talking characters here. So somebody, your character in the story, wanted, what was their action, what did they do, what was their motive, but this is the conflict in the story that prevented that character from getting them what they wanted, so that's the falling action, they're headed towards the resolution, then is your resolution. The character either got what they wanted, the story was ended, everything was wrapped up. Okay, now we're going to look at some tips. Your summary shouldn't be too short or too long. Look for irrelevant or unimportant details that may make your summary too long and cut them. Be sure you still answer key questions about the text though. If you don't, your summary might be too short and you'll need to add details when you revise. Read the summary below. Cynthia and the Spaceship is a novel by Evelyn Redding. In the book, Cynthia, the main character, overcomes a challenge to accomplish her dream of owning a spaceship. The novel is set in Chicago in the year 2150. Which of the following would improve the summary? Cutting the final sentence, adding details about the challenge Cynthia faces in the novel, adding details about what the spaceship looks like, cutting the title and the author of the book, okay? We don't need to know what the spaceship looks like and your title and author are very important. We do, however, need more information about this main idea that Cynthia faces challenges. So your correct answer here is B, adding details about the challenge Cynthia faces in the novel. Okay, no matter what you're reading, you have to find the main idea to summarize. If you're reading a novel or a short story, you might organize your summary with five words. Somebody wanted, but so then. As you're reading, focus on the main character. That's the somebody. What do they want? But what stands in their way? So what do they do? Then what is the outcome? Read the following story. Little Red Riding Hood wanted to bring a basket of food to her sick grandmother. A mean wolf saw her walking on the path and wanted to trick her. He ran ahead to the grandmother's house and locked the grandmother away. He then dressed up in the grandmother's clothes before Little Red Riding Hood arrived. When she got there, Little Red Riding Hood was almost fooled, but she realized the trick and ran away to get a woodcutter who was working nearby. He killed the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood saved her grandmother. Which of the following best summarizes the story? A woodcutter saves the day. Little Red Riding Hood wanted to bring food to her grandmother, but a wolf tried to play a trick on her by locking up her grandmother. So Little Red Riding Hood found a woodcutter who was working nearby, and he and Little Red Riding Hood put an end to the wolf's tricks and saved the grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood went to visit her grandmother who was sick. A wolf saw her walking on the path. There was also a woodcutter working nearby. Or a wolf dressed up as an old woman. If you look at examples or answer choices A and D, they do not give you enough information. There's not even a main idea within those single sentences. Okay, answer choice C also just gives a bunch of random facts about the story, but it doesn't follow the flow or the organization and the order of events in the story. So B is your correct answer. 
So make sure when you're summarizing a text, you only include important information, include the main idea and those key details that support it, and you write it in your own words.